I'm Eric Bowling. I'm a television personality and a best-selling author, and I'm here to talk about the opioid crisis and how it affected my family. My son was a very, very social high schooler, grew up in New Jersey, just outside of New York City. He liked to have fun. He was a normal kid, loved baseball, loved his car. He went to the University of Colorado. He had a fantastic freshman year at the University of Colorado. So my wife and I are out to dinner having a very, very normal dinner. On the way home, my wife was driving and my phone rang. It was about 10.30 at night. My phone rang, cell phone, and it was a young man who was panicked. He said, Mr. Bowling, call Kayla right now. And I said, what's going on? He said, just call Kayla right now. She answered her phone and she was crying. Uh, I said, Kayla, for some reason, my mind went right to this as a parent. I said, Kayla, is he alive? And she said, no, there's a detective in his apartment. The first week into his sophomore year, Eric Chase died of an opioid overdose. At that moment, my wife, who was in the driver's seat, we had pulled over the side of the road, literally fell into the road. I had to gather her up and we sat on the curb for about an hour, crying, talking, trying to figure out what just happened. Um, we never saw it coming. We never thought this, we would get that call. Everyone, every parent doesn't want it, we got it. Sorry. So afterwards, um, your mind tries to figure out what happened, what went wrong. Is it something we did? Um, and then it's also coupled with what are the people going to think? What are our neighbors going to think? What are our friends going to think? I mean, it sounds shallow, but that really is some of the things that go through your mind. I didn't know where to go. I had no, no support system. And so I went to Twitter and I said, look, this happened. I was overwhelmed by the amount and number of people who opioids are affecting. What I have done since then is to talk about the stories of people who are worried about a loved one, worried about a child, a brother, a sister, a mother, a coworker, a friend. Um, it helps to talk about it and it helps to find resources for that help. There's one underlying issue that I think parents need to understand and is very, very important. I've, I've seen it over the last few months since Eric's passed. Um, not my kid syndrome. Not my kid syndrome is terrible. Not my kid syndrome is a killer because you just don't know. It could very well be your kid. So do, do us all a favor. Do yourself a favor. Do your family a favor. Do your children a favor. Have the discussion with them and do it again and again and get involved in your kids lives find out who they're talking to who they're hanging around with keep an eye on what they're spending and where they're spending it it matters you can save someone